Oh, I've got a bit of, <coughs> excuse me, I've got a bit of 10mm material in here. Gonna face it off. To turn it down to the six mil length here. I don't want the uh, tall bit to cut, tall, the actual tool to come right through it. So just want to turn this down 25 mil now to six mil. Uh, we'll see how I get on without a steady. Might wobble about too much. Find me measuring stick. That never stops, does it? a fit than I wanted that last cut did it but I'll uh, give that a little bit of a polish and then champ for the end all right I'm just gonna put a champ for on the end of this now it needs a chamfer because if it does distort it at all you wouldn't get it out of the tool holder all right so turn it around now change my collet to a six mil collet and turn it around it's a bit looser than i would have liked it in there but it is only a prototype i can make the next one better Parted that off. I'm just gonna centre drill it now. Drill a four mil hole to take a four mil tool bit. Oh, I've got my four mil bit in there. I'm just gonna go in an inch now. Inch. A bit of four mil tool still, which I'm planning on using. The uh, I don't seem to want to go in there. It's four mil, isn't it? Yeah, four mil. Oh, yep, yeah, that's in there. Yep. As soon as that cools down a bit, that'll be fine. All right. Next stage is going to be on the milling machine, drill a little hole in there for a grub screw to hold the tool bit in. I'm going to whip it out and just try it in the, uh, the end, see how much the ball knocks it out. Reasonably focused now. Oh, I've got the ball bearing in there and if I push a pencil up the end, that's how much it pops out. I reckon that should be all right. I mean, it doesn't pop out, which I don't think it's supposed to pop out when it's in use, but the ball will hit it and it's got a little bit of movement there. 
might have to adapt that like I say I'm no expert but, um, and that's it drill a little hole and tap drill and tap it to hold the tool bit in well I've got it out I'll just check that that's the four mil tool still yep, that goes in there lovely and that's what I'll make a graver end out of it's a lovely fit all right, milling machine. All right, we're at one of my favorite bits of kit, my milling machine. Can't see much of it. I've got this um, centered in device sitting on a parallel, on the six mil bit is sitting on the parallel. Got a 3.3 mil drill bit to uh, thread it for a 4M4 grub screw probably should have sent and drilled it first but Hopefully it'll go in without wandering. Trying to bring this down with my left hand so it don't interfere with the uh right, I'm gonna I'm gonna set and drill it first because I can see it's pushing it off. four mil grub screw in it, it's a bit long, I'll have to cut it down. That screws in and out of there alright. I did run it over the drill again just to try and clear the hole out. Might have to do it again now. I've got the same in. Let's see if this will go in there. No, no, that goes in there alright. There you go, that's it. I'll just cut a bit of that off to make a graver. Cut the grub screw down a bit so it gets in there a bit better, a bit flush with that. I'm going to hold off of uh, doing the the slot in there to locate it. I've got some little um, O rings coming. I'm going to put this back in the lathe, put a groove in there when the O-rings come. I don't know how wide they are and see if that will do. I'll give it a try. I can put that in later on if I have to, but this is all experimental at the moment. Alright, let's put the rest of it together and show you what we've got. This is what we've got. The locking ring for the cap for when we adjust that cap okay it looks that on there and the tool holder which will hopefully be a quick change tool holder that I can use 
make a load of them to put different cutters in if I, like I say when I get into this. Still not sure whether to come out the side or the end with the air line on this. I still need to drill hole just to let the air out at the bottom. But um, until the springs and things come, some other bits and pieces, I'm going to have to hold off on it. Because that, I think, as that is there, would be a nice size for me. So I'm hoping that I can cut this down quite a bit and still it will still work. Because time I get the uh, little mushroom handle I want to make on there, there's going to be another half inch over there. So I want to hope, hopefully, there's the ball bearing trying to come out. Hopefully I'm going to get at least half inch off of this. But, reasonably pleased with it so far. So it's making that noise when it's an ear graver. That's way too loose that. I would have liked that to have been a better fit. But like I say, if I get these bands that are coming, I might hold it in there. And then if I need to, I shall put the locating slot in there. Anyway. <coughs> I shall drill the hole for the air to let the air out of there. And make a decision where to put this hole for the airline. I still think I'd rather it coming out the side, sort of coming out of if you're holding the graver when it's got the mushroom handle, if the airline was coming out of away from you. Alright, well, I'm going to leave it there for now. Although this video will probably be all in one bit anyway, I'm going down for a cup of tea.